Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Drew, if you are not a familiar, and this is Lone Fox, where I make YouTube videos on home decor and DIY. And this background here is actually a very familiar space for some of you guys, because this was actually a room that I made over just a couple of months ago. And by the title, you guys probably are like, wait, Drew, this was not your worst room makeover. And no, this room makeover definitely was not bad at all. It was a great room makeover and it was for my brother. But the thing about this makeover that made it a bit more challenging for myself and from like a designer perspective is that everything in the space kind of was already here. So I had to work with a twin bed. I had to add a simple closet. We had to make sure there was a desk for my brother's gaming setup, but he actually just recently moved four hours away to college. And my parents really want to convert his old room into a guest room because we have actually never had a guest room in any of our houses since I have been little. I personally have two other brothers. So traditionally all of the rooms in our house were normally filled, but now that we're all out of my parents' house, they actually want to convert convert this space into a guest room. And I came over this weekend, literally just for fun. I came over for a couple of days and my mom was telling me about how she wanted to convert this into a guest room. And it just sounded like a fun project to work on this weekend. And I have absolutely no idea what I am doing in here. I don't have a bed for this space. I have nothing. I'm going to be removing a lot of it. This is just going to be a trial and error, kind of fun makeover challenge, if you will, because I didn't bring any tools. I brought my vlog camera because I bring it with me everywhere. And that's all I have. I don't know where I'm starting. I do know what I want to do in this space though. It's actually bring these walls back to white just because this room is so, so small. We have these beautiful arched windows in front as well. And I just want those to kind of be the focal point of this this room. So that's where we're starting. I'm going to try to figure out what white paint color is in here and I'll be back in just a second you guys with our first steps in the process. Off to a good start, my dad actually pulled these out of the garage. He said that the previous owners left this can of paint here which we can only hope is the color of the wall. The entire home is actually painted completely white, so there's no other color anywhere else, so I'm only assuming this could be the wall color, you know? And just starting with a fresh canvas. It's our moment of truth, let's look. I mean, that looks white to me. Oh my gosh, okay, let's swatch it on the wall. You guys, this swatch looks good. It looks exactly how I thought it was. As you guys might be able to see, this is the paint color from the can, and this is the original wall color. It is so much more white. So I'm gonna go ahead, head to Home Depot really quickly. I'm gonna pick up a primer for this wall. I wanna use like a full coverage primer to cover up a lot of the screen. Then hopefully I can just use what's left in the can to give a topping coat over all of it to make it look cohesive. casual 3D printer on top of a closet. We love that. doing sleeping on the job first coat of primer is up on the walls as you can see there I'm gonna go ahead and let that dry for probably around an hour and then I'm gonna do a second coat of primer and then once this wall is essentially back to normal I also do want to go through and remove the curtains above um, I'm going to be doing ceiling mounted rods I believe because I think it's just gonna elevate these windows so much more I don't really like how I mounted these ones and the reason um, I mounted them like this was because the actual panels which my brother wanted the dark gray panels just weren't long enough so I had to kind of mount them short so that they fit the space so we're going to go ahead and do some ceiling mounted curtain rod panel situations from ikea i'm gonna get the bed from ikea as well i've been doing a little bit of research while i've been waiting for this to dry just to see what i can get then i'm gonna go ahead and diy the armoire as well or like the little closet area and that's really where we are at the moment I did the two coats of white and as you can see it covered up really well and I'm now ready to do the next coat. Also Jim is literally 
grunting down there. As you guys might be able to see, this is the paint color from the can, and this is the original wall color. It is so much more white. And I don't know why this watch I did earlier looks pretty great on the wall. I think it might have just been a darker area, but I did shine a flashlight back on the swatch, and it really wasn't too perfect. But the great news is, is that I did go back out and found this interior wall paint. Now, the actual paint itself is literally like rock hard. It's like three years old and rusted, but... The color, you guys, on the outside here looks so much more like the wall than the other colors. So I'm gonna go to the Sherwin-Williams store tomorrow, bring this, seems to have all the info on top as to what color it is, and get a new gallon of this to paint the walls. And then that hopefully will definitely match the walls. It's been a few hours since I last talked to you guys. Sorry about this hat, it's really shading me. I'll talk like this. But basically, uh, since I wasn't able to get that third coat of paint up on the wall, which I'm gonna have to do tomorrow, I went ahead and went to Home Depot and picked up some paint because I do want to actually DIY the armoire or like the closet that's in here. If you guys remember back in my brother's makeover, I simply just left it black because I thought it went perfectly with the aesthetic. But for this space, because we do want to keep the closet area for any guests that come over, of course. And then I ended up picking up a very daring paint color, which I'll share with you guys in just a second here. Let's do a quick coat of primer on this piece. Let that dry and then I will reveal the color. I'm so scared, but I think it will be fun. I guess I'm painting at nighttime, so if it doesn't look good tonight, I can only hope it will look good in daylight. Alrighty, it is currently midnight, but that is not stopping me. The first coat of primer is fully dry. Let it dry for like an hour, and I'm gonna share with you guys the paint color now. I put another sticker on top so you guys couldn't see the swatch, but this is definitely a daring color. I'm a little bit scared about this, but I do feel like I need like some focal color in this room now that all the walls are white. So the color I opted for is called Red Curry, and it's like a very terracotta tone, um, kind of like an orangey burnt brownish red color and i'm gonna go ahead and paint it on the piece adding the first coat and i think for this room this rusty color is going to be a nice touch of warmth and i also got this in a flat finish if you guys are curious Whenever it comes to painting a furniture piece, I always suggest priming first, and then I go in with a paintbrush to get any areas that a roller can't hit, but then I always smooth over all my paintbrush lines as much as possible using a foam roller. I just feel like this gives you the smoothest and cleanest finish, and for this piece, I actually did two total coats. I'm going to wrap it up for the night. It is 2.15 a.m. at the moment, around 2.15. It's like... 214 <laughs> but basically this guys is where i am leaving off for the night as you can see i added the second coat on to the piece now it is drying that's why it kind of looks streaky and odd right here it's just a little bit wet in some areas and dry in others but in the morning we're going to be able to see this color in natural light which i'm so excited about so i will catch you guys back in the morning bright and early so we can start back at the room makeover Starting the day a little bit later this morning because I painted until 2.15 last night or 2.14 I should say. But after that I ended up going on Facebook Marketplace on my phone because I felt like I needed like a more focal piece of furniture and I just thought I'd browse on Facebook Marketplace and see if there was anything. I was not expecting to find anything because the town my parents live in in Arizona is super, super small. But you guys, I found a dresser. But look how pretty that dresser is. It's like a dark wood with brass handles on it and it's $80. I ended up messaging her last night to see if I can get it for 60 and if it was still available. She messaged back this morning saying that she would not budge from $80. So I'm gonna go ahead and go pick this up right now. She said I can come by at 12. But before that, I wanna go and check out what that hutch looks like in the room. I have yet to go see the color of it. Oh, oh, okay. I can already tell you guys on first glance. It's not the exact color I was thinking. It actually looks like the color I'm thinking on camera. It's like a burnt reddish orange with the tiniest bit of like a mauve color in it. This isn't the color I was thinking it was gonna be, but I do not hate it. However, I'm wondering if it should be a little bit more terracotta brown toned as opposed to like mauve pink. That's what that looks like at the moment. I may or may not change the color. We have mixed emotions. I'll see you in a little bit. <laughs> So we just got here and look how beautiful this dresser is. The handles and the wood color is everything is perfect. So we're gonna grab this piece. Dad, what are your thoughts on the dresser? Uh, it's so awesome. It's so, such a cool dresser, you guys. So antique, so vintage, so vintage. 
<laughs> vintage. I, I that is literally an inside joke in our family. It's like that my dad says vintage. Well, my mom says too. Mom <laughs> says vintage too. There's no T in vintage apparently. Quickly stopping by the paint store to get that paint match, then heading back home, you guys, so we can paint the wall. I cannot believe this dresser was from Facebook Marketplace. This is so beautiful. I love the color of it. I like how it's like darkened around the edges and a little bit lighter. And not to mention this hardware is perfect and every piece of hardware is fully intact. I also really like the wear and tear, honestly. I think it's cool. There's a bit much on the top, but I'm gonna keep it as is. The only thing I wanna alter is just scraping off this white paint at the bottom here. I think that that just kind of distracts. But already off to a great start today. I'm going to head into the room and start painting the walls white. We can only hope that that color matches the previous wall color. As you guys might be able to see, the original wall color or the primer is a more of an optic white and this is a little bit more blue toned, but the actual wall color in here has a slight warmth to it, which I do love. I love how they didn't use like an optic white in this room. I like that there's a warmth to it. So this is the color that's gonna go on the entire two walls and I'm also gonna patch up all these old holes and just clean up all of this as well. have the first coat of paint on the walls and it is seamless you guys this color is perfect it's exactly the same as that color as the previous wall which is amazing I will say though that the paint itself is a little bit thin so I'm gonna have to apply a second coat there's just some slight streakiness in some areas while that is drying I'm gonna go ahead and fill in all of the nail holes above the window or the screw holes that were from the original curtains and just to give you guys an update my dad actually headed to Las Vegas about an hour ago after picking up the dresser which is around an hour and a half from my parents house to pick up a bed frame from my Ikea, I was able to find an in-stock bed frame that was pretty simple and should go with the design in the space that I'm going for. So we headed to go pick that up, which I am so grateful for. So I'm gonna go ahead and quickly fill up all the holes there. Then we can sand them and paint over them for a fresh canvas. Oh, also you guys, I couldn't find a spackling thingy. I'm so close to the camera. So I'm using this chisel. I should do the same. you guys can you see how sweaty it is in here oh uh, I just finished the second coat on both walls I'm gonna let that dry I'm going to take a quick break get some water get some food and then I think I'm gonna head to Target actually to start figuring out some of the decor elements I do have a full stock of my online shop stuff here as well so I'll be pulling a ton of stuff from my online store since it's already paid for it's already here plus you guys of course can shop those pieces linked in bio and anything I get at Target I'll of course link those pieces as well all I have to do is just wait for the spackling to continue drying then I can sand that down paint over those and we will be good I also think I'm gonna take a shower because I am soaking. I'm heading to Target right now, you guys, but look how cool some of these pots are that the previous owners of the house left for my parents. There's that one, there's this one. Look at this big vintage pot, and my parents don't understand that these are so trendy. And I'm like, you guys, these are so good. And they're like, they look so old. And I'm like, that's the point. Like, look how cute some of these are. I just love them. We stopped by Ross on the way to Target. How cool are these jugs here? They're so cute. They're $14.99, such a good deal. Honestly, I'm gonna get both because I wanna use one in the room and I want one for my house as well. Oh my gosh, you guys, look how cute this marble is. It's so pretty. It's like greenish with a bit of cream and it's only $7.99. I think absolutely. How pretty is this eucalyptus in like some fall colors? I'm gonna grab this and I also found this pot. How much is this? $12.99? Look how cool it has faces on it. I've really never shopped at Ross because I feel like in the past I've had bad luck, but honestly kind of running into some good items right now. Here we all are traveling back to the car with our Ross finds. I actually found some really cute things, you guys made my way to Target. I'm just checking out a couple of cute things here. They have baskets, which I do need a basket. I need some nightstands. I need some decor. These are so cute. I don't really know what I would do with them. But yes, we're just gonna browse Target. 
so we have a very slim options when it comes to nightstands. However, there are two of these, there are two of these, and there are two of these, which I think I'm gravitating more towards this. I like the top a bit more on this one. The coloring is pretty unique, and there are two of them. If I happen to find anything else on Facebook Marketplace or just anywhere else in general, I can easily return these, but for now I'm gonna grab them since it's the only pair available. There's also these drum tables too, but I feel like, I don't know, that could also be cool, you know? Kind of changing up the style. Day three of this makeover and today I need to conquer a lot because I just feel like over the past two days all I've done is painted walls and painted a piece of furniture and it just doesn't feel productive to me. Today I need to at least get the bed done, I want the furniture piece done, I want the pieces in here arranged, I got a new fan this morning. There's just things I need to start coming together and I feel like today is the day because I'm leaving on Wednesday which is, it's Monday today, Labor Day, so I need this room to be finished by then. So the first thing I want to do actually is put the legs on our Ikea closet. I really want to lift this up and give it more of a decorative leg. I think it will make it look more like an armoire or like a hutch cabinet situation as opposed to like a big box closet on the floor. So that's the first thing I want to do today and my methodology for putting those legs on is a little bit strange because essentially the underside of this Ikea cabinet you guys is hollow. So the weight is really distributed on the outside legs in this front piece here. The first step in turning this piece into a more of an armoire shape was actually to go ahead and pick up a piece of wood at the hardware store. So I picked up this piece of maple here. It wasn't a pressed board. I wanted something a bit stronger, so I opted for a little bit more of a pricier option, which was the maple, but definitely a stronger option. So I went ahead and I cut out a shape using a circular saw that actually was the same exact width and depth as the original piece. And I screwed in these top plates on all four corners about two inches in from the edge. These are actually going to be what secures the leg to the piece. So I screwed those in and then the legs that I'm using are these hand turned legs. I found these at the Home Depot. They were a bit pricey. They were actually $14 a piece, but I really thought it would elevate the piece and I really wasn't spending too much on this room makeover. So I kind of splurged on those legs because this was a focal piece in the room for sure. So I pulled off all the bottoms, flipped it on the backside and actually just used some wood glue to start to adhere the wood board on. Now keep in mind, it's going to be sitting on top of this wood board and legs. So I don't expect it to move in the future, but I did go through with some long finishing nails and just added those in to ensure that it was nice and secure, but I do believe with the wood glue and the finishing nails, this piece will be totally fine. And then I just went through with the same exact color of paint and gave two coats everywhere that was shown, including the bottom side and all of the legs, and then moved it into position. So our first piece of furniture is in the space and I am obsessed. I went ahead and I added on some handles here. These are some little round rattan style handles. These were actually from my online store, but there was only three of them left. So sadly, not available anymore, but I just had to use them. They seemed like perfect fit for this and I just wanted to use what I already had. And then at the bottom here, as you guys can see, the legs just look perfect. Just a bit more of an intentional wardrobe piece as opposed to like a big box on the floor. So I really do love the addition of the legs and I think that the little detail too, how we added out the whole piece and it kind of has this rectangular cutout shape is just like a fun added detail. And I love this piece. It's really, really cute and the color is really nice as well. It is so weird seeing this room fully blank, but we have a blank canvas here. I have the bed frame here. My dad picked this up yesterday at Ikea, and I'm going to start by just building that since it's gonna take up a good majority of the room. Jimmy is nicely snoring while awake right here. And then over on this wall, I have planned for the dresser to go here that I got on Facebook Marketplace. I wanna get like a little chair to go next to it. I think that would be a cute little addition to the left of that. I'm gonna start by building the bed just so we can see how that looks and then bringing the mattress down from the room upstairs. Why does this room still look massive with this bed in it? Like, I do not remember having this much space. Even with the twin there, I felt like it was so cramped and small. It's just crazy how orientation of furniture can make things just feel different. All of the 
furniture is now in place, or at least the larger pieces. We have the wardrobe here. The bed is here, of course. I added two of the side tables that we got from Target. I still have to figure out where the lamps are gonna be coming from. And then I added the dresser over on this wall here. And I really cannot believe how much like free space there is to walk around. Like you guys, I have a good amount. And the curtains just came in from Amazon. I ordered these on Saturday. Now they are a bit more gray toned than I thought, but I think they'll work. I had my dad hold them up and they actually looked kind of pretty next to the dresser. It's like a weedish grayish tone and it's like a linen fabric. I'll link these below for you guys from Amazon. I do have to go find some rods though. I'm gonna have to check out probably Lowe's and Home Depot and Target right now, but that's what I wanna do. I wanna get the curtains up because that's kind of the biggest struggle I feel like. I got the curtains to be exact the exact height of the wall which was 108 so I want to hang them all the way to the ceiling um, so we'll have to see how that happens with the rods the hopefully last and final day. I'm supposed to leave tomorrow morning, but I have gotten a late start today. It is already one o'clock. I had to just finish a couple of business things this morning and do some emails and a couple mood boards and stuff. So working on that, but you guys, basically my dad got the fan installed and it looks like this. It is from Home Depot and I'll link it for you guys. It's super cute. It's a little bit more of an elevated stylized fan as the old one was a bit more modernized for my brother's room. And also the curtains are all hung, you guys. I steamed them for like three hours last night night and then I went through and I actually taped them just so that they could hold the steaming that I did and then lastly the mattress is in and the rug is down I think I might move the rug back up a little bit more but I want to go ahead and style the bed and get an idea for the color palette in here so we can figure out if anything else is needed to be added but all of the big installs in here are pretty much done I'm not sure what I'm gonna do to this blank wall here though so I guess let's just start styling the bed I kind of want to see what that looks like and go from there plant right here okay so when my parents moved into this house the previous owners left them so many faux humongous plants and they're scattered throughout the house they have like an excess of them it is crazy and this was one of the trees in our entry area and so I just pulled it from the entryway over here just to kind of see what it looks like and I showed my parents and they were like keep that there and I was like yeah that is so cute it's like a faux bamboo but look how pretty it is I mean it's not a super amazing faux plant but it is humongous which i love because large faux plants are kind of hard to come by also guys i removed the tape from the curtains and look how great they are hanging i'm going to remove them from the rest now this just kind of pressed them overnight and just started to train the fabric in the direction it needed to kind of stay in but like look how nice and pretty they fall they're just gracefully pleated Did some simple styling on top of the dresser you guys these are actually a lot of new pieces from the online shop this is a super cool new kind of replica bust and i love it i love how it has like a vintage finish to it but i'm not gonna lie you guys this is a little bit of a pricier item in the store i'm starting to introduce some really unique pieces but with unique pieces of course comes a bit more of a price point just being fully transparent i kind of have a mixture in my shop there's highs there's lows this is a new piece from the store as well it's a vintage wicker kind of jug canister i think it's so cool and then we have this piece from Target and then this cute candle from the online shop and then I got this at Ross and then candlestick holders are also from Lone Fox so those pieces will be linked below if you guys are curious but that's the styling on top of the dresser in this spot by the dresser here I really wanted to put like a stool or like a chair or something here just because there is this open gap here I just don't have anything that will fit and I tried to reutilize the chair that I use in Josh's old room it's just too large for this little spot and I do want something more like antique dining chair vibes I love the way the dresser styled and I also wanted to share with you guys this I added two vases above the wardrobe area and I can't tell if like 
that's cool or not. Do you know what I mean? I don't know if I should put stuff on top of there if it's too high or if it could just kind of like adds a little bit of interest. I'll probably figure it out as the day progresses. I totally just realized I never told you guys where the table lamp is from. This is actually from Target, but I got two of them for either side. There's one over there as well. Now on top of the nightstands, just doing some super simple styling. This is a little pom-pom box for like a guest to put some items in if they want to. And then a beeswax candle back there. And then over on this side, I'm going to just keep it super simple with one of the wood carved candles. This one is in Sunday brunch. I'm gonna unwrap that of course. And then we have the lamp there. I love the bed styling. And also my dad just FaceTimed me from the thrift store because he went to go drop off my brother's old twin bed and mattress just so someone else can utilize that of course. And he dropped it off and then he FaceTimed me and was like, wait, is this like a style of chair that you're looking for? And it was a simple wooden kind of dining chair. There was one of them. It was $5 at Goodwill. He picked it up because I'm just gonna utilize it for the space right here. I just feel like it's an empty spot and a chair can be a great spot, you know, for like a suitcase or a bag or just to sit down and put your shoes on. So I'm waiting for him to get back with that. But a majority of the room is done, you guys. And also this wall behind me, the blank wall, my parents decided that they do wanna put a TV on this wall. So it's probably gonna be left blank because one will be mounted right in front of the bed. Just gonna add a couple more styling elements. There's really just a couple pieces of artwork. I'm still kind of contemplating the pieces on top of the piece there, but I think the tree really just added some life to this room, which I love. And the ceiling fan too is so cute. Look at this chair my dad found. Oh is it falling apart? Vintage. Oh, it's vintage. <laughs> oh my gosh, look, vintage chair. And also you guys look how pretty my parents like front little area is. So cute. Right above that chair I just added, I think I wanna do a little piece of artwork, like a little cute one. And I have these canvas prints from Lorianne Art. These are literally one of the most popular items on the site and I love them because they're printed on actual canvas. So it looks like a painting as opposed to just an art print. I also picked up this eight by 10 frame at Target, which looks super similar to the ones I styled them in on the site. And I'm kind of leaning a bit more towards this one. You know what, I changed my mind. When am I ever gonna need a use for this color? Like I feel like red's kind of hard to use and I used red in this room, I might as well utilize this red print as well. A little life hack I saw someone do on TikTok, you guys, is actually using your vacuum cleaner to straighten out your tassels. You just literally go like this. Nice and straight, isn't that fun? All right, you guys, so I finished the room and my parents have not seen this space with any of the bedding, any of the decor, any of the elements, additional anything in this space at all. Um, of course, my dad saw where the bed was being placed and he did see the ceiling fan because he installed it for me and helped me bring in the dresser. So he gets an idea, you know, they have an idea of the orientation, but I thought it would be fun still to do a little mini reveal. So I'm gonna bring them in just to show them their new guest room. So let's go grab them. All right, you guys, I'm gonna go get my parents. Here they are. They're right there, just conveniently by the door because I told them to be by the door. <laughs> okay, you guys can come and see your new guest room. Are you extremely excited? Extremely. 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 Come on in. It smells wonderful here. I, I lit some candles for you guys. Oh, it smells wonderful. How do you wow. think? It looks so good. Do you like it? Yeah, it looks like it's being a Isn't that fun? Yeah, I didn't think that I would like it, but it kind of looks good. Everything from here is from the store, by the way. It Look is. It, it is. My mom's always like, Drew, why don't you use your own decor in your videos? And I'm like, I don't know. I feel bad pushing it on people. I know. I don't know. It's so weird. Remember when I told you I wanted to put a queen bed in here? You were like, absolutely not. Yes. Because we just felt like it was going to be so small. There's Biggie. We thought it was gonna be super small, but it actually makes the room, like there's a lot of space, you guys, and to walk in here. Also, like these walls, remember they were dark green and now they're white? I yeah. And the curtains were dark gray and now they're lighter. I think the lighter color made everything look so much more open and bigger. The best part is we got rid of your bratty little brother out of here. <laughs> Too, the way it is. 
guys, I am back in Los Angeles and that finishes off today's video for you. That was the guest room transformation for my parents since they do have a smaller house now. It's actually only three bedrooms. They really wanted to utilize that third bedroom downstairs, which actually was traditionally an office space. Um, the house was listed as a three bedroom, two bathroom home, but when they got there, they realized it was two bedrooms with an office. So adding that closet was definitely crucial and I loved the way that we kind of lifted it on those legs as well. And I think it's a perfect space for guests or even if my brother goes back or if I go back, it's just a nice kind of calming area for a guest to stay in. So I hope that you guys loved today's video. It was definitely a last minute, very random impromptu design. Um, I had no idea what I was going to be doing in the space, but I really liked the way that it turned out. And I just utilized things I had from my store, utilized things from Target and Facebook Marketplace, as you guys saw. And overall, I'm just really proud of the makeover. I also loved the previous makeover for my brother and he utilized it for about eight months or so before he ended up moving. And it was a great one as well. But this one, this one just a little bit more my vibe. So I love the way that it turned out and I hope that you guys did it too. So if you would like to, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I post brand new home decor and DIY content every single week here on Lone Fox. And I will catch you guys over on Instagram and TikTok as well, both of which are Lone Fox Home. And I'll see you in my next one. Have an amazing rest of your day, guys. Bye, everyone.